What's up guys welcome to another video with Amanda Myth the legend Bubble Ball Sukus himself today we are gonna make a tutorial on how to use the replay mod let's begin. Start off by clicking the link in the description. Trust me it's not a virus mate okay then download the latest version of replay mod. And by the way I'm not using the latest version cause it's laggy for some reason but who cares. Now when you have it installed you should know how to move it to your mods folder. I'm too lazy to explain that, so I'll just leave a link in the description to a mod installing tutorial. Now start up Minecraft, and go to options and click controls, scroll down to replay mod hotkeys, and change replay mod settings to anything you would like. Then go to the world slash server you would like to record on and press the key that you set to replay mod settings. Here you can change a bunch of settings, but the most important ones are the recording indicator, which toggles the recording symbol to know if you are recording or not, then it's the record singular player if you have that on. Every time you join a singular player world your replay mod will start recording. If it's off, it will never record singular player. Same thing with the multiplayer recording. Now you are ready to make your first recording. Here I have a clip of me jumping around in a Skywars lobby for no reason. Maybe I wanna record that and hope for some views on YouTube, so let's make a video of me jumping around. First go to replay mod viewer and click the video you want to edit. The recording on the top is the newest recording recorded. Now you are in the editor. Here you can move around with the WASD keys, space to go up and shift to go down. Kind of like Minecraft. Click the key you have set to open the chat in Minecraft to move your mouse around. Here you can click the upper play button to play the recording and the lower button to change hotkeys. I will go into what the middle one does later. You can change the speed of the recording here so now it goes two times slower. And now it goes two times faster. Click escape to get out of the mouse mode. Now for keyframes, I assume that you know what a timeline is, so I won't explain that here, but the upper timeline is the recording timeline and the lower one is the keyframe timeline. First the position keyframe, when you click it, it adds a position keyframe to where the cursor is on the keyframe timeline. It sets that position keyframe to what position you are in when you click it. After you have set a keyframe you can change it, if you need to, you have to delete it, and place a new one. Then it's the time keyframe which is a bit harder to explain, but I'm sure you will understand. Just like the position keyframe button, the time keyframe button adds a time keyframe to the keyframe timeline. Basically, the time keyframe tells the recording when things should happen. So if I place a time keyframe and a position keyframe at this time and position of the recording, then 4 seconds forward on the keyframe timeline, and add another position keyframe on another place of the map and another time keyframe too. If we click the camera path player, the game will freeze, and we will just move around. To make the game move in time, we need to first add a position and time keyframe when and where we want the recording to start, then play the clip to where we want it to end, move the keyframe timeline cursor to how many seconds we want the clip to be, then place the keyframes there. So if you want the final recording to be at the same speed as the original recording, you have to go forward the same amount of time on the recording timeline as on the keyframe timeline. Sorry if it's hard to understand, but I will try to answer questions in the comments, if you have any. Now for rendering your clip. To render, you must have at least two position keyframes and two time keyframes. First click the render symbol, to open the render options window. First is the rendering method, I'm using default rendering, and I won't go through what the other ones does, because I have never used them before. Then the encoding presets, that basically means the quality of the clip, I recommend the potato quality. Just kidding ha 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 I'm such a funny guy. I'm using the custom bitrate set to 100 megabits per second. Then I recommend the video frame rate set to 60, if you are not gonna add slow motion afterwards. Then I have the video resolution set to full HD or 1920 times 1080 pixels. The output file is just what the file name is going to be, then the final video will be rendered into your Minecraft folder under replay videos. Now I won't go through the advanced settings, just the name tags, which lets you choose if you want to render the name tags or not. Now for something that the most replay mod tutorials doesn't include, the FFmpeg. 
when you first try to render the video, it says you need to have an FFmpeg installed for this, then you don't know what to do. But good for you, because Bubble Blockasus is here to save the day. First open your web browser and search ffmpeg.org. Then don't click the big green download button. Click the download button on the left side, then scroll down, and click Windows Builds, if you are using Windows, and Static and Shared Builds for Mac OS, if you are using Mac. Then click the Download Build button, and save it somewhere on your computer, it doesn't matter where. Then open the folder, where you have the FFmpeg zip file saved, and right click it, and click Extract All. It doesn't matter where you save this either. Now for the folder that pops up. Click the first folder, and then click bin. Now go back to Minecraft, and scroll down to the very bottom, and in another window, have the bin folder opened, and click the search bar. Now in the left box you type in everything, that it says on the search bar, and add a backslash ffmpeg.exe in the end. For some reason it doesn't work if you copy paste, you have to write it manually trust me I have tried. Now if you click render the video should render, congratulations. You have just became a replay mod god. Thanks to Bubble Blockasus's amazing tutorial. This tutorial was made in purpose to show how to set up the replay mod, and not to show all its functions. If this video gets minus 5 likes I will make another tutorial on the replay mod, where I show some more features of it. Don't forget to subscribe, leak, and share ok thanks bye.